We are recording. <laughs> Excellent. We're off to a great start. <laughs> I think it's this, right? It's a wonderful, wonderful beginning. That's why I never trust the tape. Well, another successful year in my uh, my year in comedy. Just came back from the Just for Laugh Festival in Montreal. Another amazing experience. I got to meet new people there. Um, I, I got to meet new faces, more connections, and to me that is the most important thing. You know, I, I understand people question the things that I do. Going to Just for Laughs and volunteering, uh, taking the time and money just to go there on your own time and just to volunteer there not getting anything out of it, I am getting something out of it. Um, I'm getting connections. I'm learning more about how to stay more humble in the industry. Uh, it's it's a different feeling for me compared to a lot of people. When I go to Just for Laughs, I, I have struggled with trying to talk with people for a very long period of time when it comes to interpersonal relationships. You know, I'm a very private person sometimes where I stay to myself. I don't like being in a bunch of like five or six people being talkative instead sometimes i'll be the really quiet guy and then i'll i'll, I'll just do my talking on stage in joke form instead you know so it's going to just for laughs and being part of that festival every year is my goal right now it's not even just about being on stage. It's just being part of the biggest comedy festival in the world. Picture it like this. You know, Just for Laughs is the WrestleMania of comedy. And when you go there, you feel like you've accomplished a full year of, of supporting the biggest comedians out there in the industry. This year, I, I got to meet comedians like Nathan Caton, that's, that's in the UK. Um, I got to meet uh, a couple of comedians that are locally in Montreal there, and those, those to me are worth my time of traveling to this festival to be at. I'd like to give a couple of shout outs to uh, a, a couple of people that have been helping me out while I've been pursuing this comedy per, uh, career. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Caitlin Drummond Productions for shooting all the footage that you see on my websites, all the cover photos, because, you know, from the, from the very beginning when I started this career, you got to make some kind of a good image on people, and I have sort of like a business and broadcasting mind, so I knew that from the very beginning you had some kind of like, have to have an awesome cover photo to get people's attention, and we created an original photo that is still memorable to this day. It was like one of my very first days I had a really scruffy beard and it was, it was really ragged and what? Oh man, I was, I was down on my luck. And that, that is who I was at the time. And now four, what, maybe three, four years later, I'm still down on my luck. <laughs> Except at least I look a little bit better. That's basically the only difference of what has happened while I've been doing this comedy career is I'm starting to look a little bit better and people are starting to respect me. But I'm still a drunken fool. <laughs> I'm really happy to announce that we are partnering up with uh, an awesome artist by the name of Kubi. And he is right now like supporting a YouTuber by the name of Trainer Tips with his music. If you guys want a kind of understanding of what his kind of music is, he is gaming music mixed with like techno. It's really cool. So I want to thank Kubi for allowing us to use his music on any of any things that we do, including uh, including my podcast, uh, including videos like maybe the one you're gonna see is some Kubi music in the background. He is a very well-respected artist right now in the gaming community of Pokemon Go. And I um, want to thank Kubi for actually 
teaming up with us, and hopefully we have a great partnership to go uh, together going forward. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll have him on my podcast to interview him. And uh, so, cheers to you, Kubi. Looking forward to the next year. Uh, we just got done filming my recent demo reel, if people want to check that out. Uh, I want to thank everybody that was in Ottawa, Ontario for coming out and supporting me with those sets that I was doing at Wellington Eatery. Out of all the sets that I've been doing out in Vancouver, um, and then traveling all the way to Ottawa, Ontario, and then get some of the best crowds I've ever had while doing stand-up is very important to me. You guys are helping me learn about the industry more, that you don't have to stay in one area just to get laughs. Sometimes you have to go and travel in order to understand how to get your set better. And that was really important to me knowing that I've been doing sets in Vancouver. Me traveling outside of my area gives me a better understanding of how to fix my sets, how to make it more clean, how what crowds react to different uh, jokes. It's Crowd reaction is very important to me when it comes to my, my sets because I, I usually don't interact with the audience. I'm the guy that will just focus on strictly having uh, pun jokes, basically. <laughs> I love how punny I am. Um, they've already invited me back next year. I'm really looking forward to once again going back to Montreal. It's it, it's really humbling knowing that I'm meeting regular people when I'm going to Montreal and they're inviting me to come back next year. But uh, my goal is to just be part of the festival every year. You know, it's just it, it's just a great experience for any comedian that wants to understand the industry more, being part of the biggest just for laugh festival in the world. Well, of course, it's the biggest just for laugh festival in the world. <laughs> I meant the biggest comedy festival. And it's really a lot of fun, and I'm meeting a lot of great names, you know, when I, you know, I was told by Dolph Ziggler not to name drop celebrities. You know, one of my jobs at Just For Laughs is I'm supposed to help walk an artist to their venue. So basically my job would be to walk to the hotel that they were staying at, and then I would be in a bright orange shirt, and then I would walk them to their venues. We would just chat about comedy and, you know, just having a good time chatting about what's going on in Montreal. And it's really funny because I'm not from the Montreal area either. So when I come from Vancouver and I go to Montreal, other comedians ask me, like, so what, what's the crowd base like uh, in, in Montreal? And I, I say to them, I have no idea because I'm not from here either. <laughs> and then that's how you talk about, oh, I'm just, I'm also a comedian that's just coming here to make a name for myself, right? Just, there was a, a guy named Steve Castillo. I, I hopefully I've, I pronounced his name correctly. And we had a great time chatting about uh, Vancouver and Chicago. Apparently, Chicago is a very big industry when it comes to comedy, so I need to start looking into uh, maybe going to Chicago at some point for a road trip and doing some uh, comedy out there in Chicago. I would love to go see a Chicago Blackhawks game. I would love to go see a Chicago Bears game. I would love to go see a Chicago Bulls game. The Windy City and Chicago uh, is waiting on Coop to arrive in his town. <laughs> Let me just say, uh, I would love to go to Chicago and do some stand-up there. What are your next shows? Okay, so we'll take live questions. Uh, what are your next shows? I, uh, I don't have any scheduled shows coming up because my original plan was to go back to uh, British Columbia and Vancouver, start working on uh, some new material for the next year. You know, I've been working on this five-minute set for the past year and a half. It really takes quite a long time for a comedian to put together a solid five minute set that he can show off to people when it comes to agencies. It's, it, it's a lot of dedication. I went to comedy classes to try and get my set better. It was a lot of money to invest in. But that's how serious I am when it comes to going far in this industry, right? 
So I'm going to start going to open mics, test out some uh, new material. There's, there's a lot of new material that I want to test out on stage, but I've been so focused on my five minutes just to show off to the public that now I finally have that recorded and that's in high quality that you guys can check out and I can finally put that five minutes aside, start working on a bunch of new material because it is a lot of time to try and put together a good five minute set. So it took me a year and a half to put together at least a good five and a half minutes of good material that people laugh at. Um, I have a long way to go and that's, that's my only motivation is just to get my set better. Johnny yeah. says you should come down to Texas because he wants to buy you a beer. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon members for supporting me in just my time where I feel like I'm actually doing something right in my life, you know? My Patreon members, I want to give a huge shout out to some of my my biggest supporters, Indigo Crystal, um, has by far been my favorite supporter. I want to thank you so much, Indigo, for taking the time, uh, investing in just supporting me and my dream of making people laugh for a living. I want to thank a couple of my friends, Johnny Sinister, Johnny man, love you buddy. He loves you too. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's he's an awesome dude, man. Johnny, you gotta go check him out because it feels like to me I'm actually doing something good in the world where, you know, pe this is a hard time we live in. And they, they wanted to come join me after dealing with a bunch of negativity uh, in their lives. I wanted them to join my life and just join my journey of being positive to people. And now they're being influenced to do their dreams of getting their voices known out there and doing podcast episodes. And I'm doing whatever I can to support them of uh, whenever I can. <laughs> it's hard to please everybody in this world, people. Let me tell you this right now. It's really hard. Uh, but I... <laughs>